take it away. Yeah, um, not very many people have seen this run. Um, that's because this game is not good. It's not a good game. Um, actually, it was called by several publications the worst movie tie-in game of all time. Um, so, yeah, you have that to look forward to. But yeah, this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the DS. Rudolph book category, the reason why the category is called that is because there are four different books that you can play in the game. As you can see here, Rudolph is the first one, then there's Hermie, Mrs. Claus, and the last one is just straight up called Reindeer. So, I don't know what that's about. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna dive into it, I think. So, if we're ready... Oh, by the way, my name's Conception. I didn't even introduce myself. My name's Conception, and this is Rudolph. I think it's time to get started. Here we go, in three, two, one, go. Um, yeah, so um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo DS, made in 2010, by the way, so towards, I believe, what is the back end of the DS library. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this game is a baby game for babies. Um, and I mean that in the most polite sense. It's basically if you, so if you've played WarioWare, it's very similar to that where it has like little mini micro games and stuff like that. Except that the mini games are like early childhood like. So it's a lot of like memory based games. It's a lot of like connect the dots. It's a lot of uh, uh, matching stuff like we're gonna have in this first game here. Um, so let's see how lucky we get. Let's see. Yeah, no, not too lucky thus far. Okay, okay. So we got these two. So yeah, we're just doing some memory-based games here. I think this first one was a star. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that. Yeah, okay. We're getting a little bit lucky here. Uh, okay, not not so much there. Uh, no, I couldn't remember if we had the bear yet. We did have the train. There we go. Uh, it's that one. Yas, yes, yes. Uh, that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. All right, not too shabby. Okay, so yeah, basically we're gonna be doing uh, several different micro games like that, and then, yeah, this game is uh, not very good. I also hope you really like this song, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer playing on repeat in the background because the it will be doing that the entire run. Um, and the run ends with a bouncing ball sing-along of the, the famous Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer song, and it doesn't fully match up. Um, so you have that to look forward to. Um, yeah, so we got some tracing here that we gotta put together. This is like a, a three-step minigame, actually. Come on, get up. There, all right, and then we gotta just match the wheels. All right, and then it wants us to paint the train's face here, and you're just gonna have to believe that I'm doing that because for some reason the game doesn't want to turn the camera so that you can see what the train's face looks like. So I can't even paint it how I want, or like I can't even see it painted at all. So yeah, it's a, again, a very good game. Now we got a color by numbers, which is classic, classic, classic stuff. Do we have a two? Yeah, just in the middle there. Three, three, here we go. Four, four. Oh, no, no, no. Four still. Four still, right at the top. There we go. Boom. And also something that makes the game very frustrating is that it will put the advance button, which is in the bottom right corner, as you can see, uh, right next to the repeat button. So if I... I have to be actually somewhat precise with my inputs uh, using my stylus here because I can accidentally redo a game that I just did and waste a lot of time. So we don't want to do that, uh, obviously. But uh, yeah, I can't emphasize enough how anyone could play, anyone, literally anyone could do this speedrun. They could get a world record if they wanted to. Um, it is really not too shabby. So if you want, oh, uh, if you want to learn a speedrun, you know, for this holiday season, this is a good one. Because it's not too hard. Like I said, it's a baby game for babies. Oop, missed it. I thought I hit repeat on that, which would be terrible because this is a exceptionally long mini game to do that for. <laughs> All right. Okay. This this game is my least favorite. So that um, basically what we have to do is we have to put the colored lights on the board. Uh, based off the colors that are on the board, you know, similar to like if you're old like me, a light bright situation. 
Um, the reason, so this one isn't so bad because it's just two colors, it's green and red, so that's not too bad. But the reason why it's somewhat frustrating is one, you can have multiple colors, and two, um, looking at my DS screen here, it's not the most bright, it's not the brightest, and it's also not the most, like, clear. So sometimes colors can get a little wonky on the screen, so it's hard to detect. Also, if you accidentally put a light in the wrong spot, it's not as easy as you would think to like just pick it up and drag it somewhere else. You have to like delete it and then uh, re-add it basically. So not not too fun. Um, I did this run at Midwest Mini Fest last weekend, and I did this mini game where uh, you have to collect, I think it's like 10, or, uh, 10 toys here just by sliding across like this. Uh, one, I accidentally repeated it after I did it, so I had to redo that whole thing. But two, um, I think like seven of the toys were right in the middle, like all back to back, so I didn't even have to move much. So the, the easy baby game tried to make it even easier for me. Alright, gotta knock on the door here, of course. Okay. There we go, just find Hermie. I mean, like, it's just all basic stuff. Got some Where's Waldo type action. It's like, but it's also like playing Where's Waldo when everyone is Waldo, pretty much. It's like very simple. Or like if Waldo was like half your, half the size of your screen or something. So it's pretty, pretty good. I think, is, if this is the mini game, I think it is. Um, it's, it's unfortunate for Rudolph. Actually, wait, I don't think this is the one I think it is. No, this isn't the one I think it is. So this one is just mashing. To, uh, clear the line fast. But there's gonna be one, I think it's coming up pretty soon here. It might be even the next game. Uh, where we have to fly from rooftop to rooftop. And it is absolutely just faster for Rudolph to jump off the roof like this. Oh no, he didn't even, no, stop, just stop jumping. There we go. <laughs> um, he, it's just way faster for him to run off like that. Um, which means he fails. Um, he fails as his job as one of Santa's reindeer. But uh, at least, you know, we got to see a little success. He cleared two rooftops that time by accident. Uh, but yeah, so um, if, you, if you are somebody who has watched the uh, Claymation Rudolph movie before in your life, um, this is this it's literally the same exact story the Rudolph book portion is at least it's the same exact story and it takes a little bit longer to play the game as then watch the movie so um I suggest you watch the movie instead obviously I mean like my well it's honestly it's about the same so I, I have world record in this category which is again nothing means nothing um but um the uh world record is like just under 22 minutes I oh, just want to make sure I hit this right there we go just under 22 minutes and without commercials I think the special is about the same length so it's like roughly the same length but you could either watch it visually and not have to repeatedly tap the bottom right corner of your DS screen or you can watch you know you can do that if you want but yeah just watch the movie instead it's better um Let's see what we got going on here. The, the, the good thing about this too, this doing this speed run, is that um, it doesn't require any prep from me because it's not hard to do. Um, so sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what's coming next. Because uh, I, I don't remember. But it's fine because, again, it's a childhood game. I'll be, I'll be okay. Is that really not big enough? Okay. Come on. And then that, so the, that snowman game. Uh, so obviously you roll three snowballs so you can make a snowman. And then it intends for you to decorate it after, but you can just skip and not decorate it. So we just have a, a blank snowman sitting out there in Santa's workshops, North Pole land. Nothing says Christmas spirit like a blank snowman. All right, what is this one now? Oh yeah, so we actually have to find gold here, so it's actually... Oh, okay, easy. Um, so yeah, there's you have to find the gold, which is... Uh, that. That's actually one little tiny bitty piece of RNG that happens in the run. But uh, that being said, it is often like... Uh, in, this, oops, in the same spots. Um, so we're going to be doing a, a word search here. Please just go with the link that I need you to do. Uh, dog food. 
Uh, earmuff, sure, is right in the center. Uh, flower. Where are you, flower? You're on the bottom. Nice. Next time your parents nail that New York Times crossword puzzle in a few minutes, show them this and tell them I did it in seconds. Oh, whoops. I don't think it matters if I win this or not. But this dog up at the top of the screen uh, keeps track with me, so it doesn't, like, fully matter. Um, yeah, so there's really not, I mean, there's not much going on in the majority of this run, so, like, it's really not, you know, we can jump in at any time. If we happen to have any donations or plugs or anything we want to talk about, you know, now's a good time. I mean, I think I, I, think I just want to say just how uh, bonkers and weird this run is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there isn't anything right now, but uh, <laughs> we do... Uh... We want to give a bit of a reminder about that we do have some uh, some of the donation incentives that are going to be closing soon, mainly the Pathless as well as the Dreamrix Dragons incentives. Since those runs are coming up very shortly, just to uh, remind you on what those are, Dreamrix Dragons, we have V-Sync Off Skips Exhibition. Not entirely sure what that means, but there's currently no money on it, and that is a run that is coming very, very soon. So if you do want to see what that is, uh, I would highly recommend donating for that. We also have the Pathless Pet the Eagle, that's cumulative, cumulative, that's the word. Uh, there's currently $60 <laughs> on that right now, so that's 10 Eagle Pets in total. I'm not sure when in the run the Eagle Pets actually happen, but the Pathless is coming up later today as well, so uh, both of those runs are coming up shortly. So if you do want to donate for those, I will throw the donation link in chat, or, or you could go to uh, donate.noglitchesallowed.org for those. Yes, absolutely. I uh, so that that uh, DreamWorks Dragons run uh, that's coming up. I'm gonna be on uh, commentary for that, um, and uh, so I know what the uh, the that VSync glitch exhibition is all about, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. You're definitely not gonna want to miss that because there's there's a lot of bonkers stuff that you can do uh, with that with that game that uh, that is outside of the category that would they will be racing. But that's gonna be a good time. Also, yeah, the pet the eagle. You know, we're here to save the dogs. All of that stuff. Um, get to do an actual puzzle here, which is fun. Um, I believe that's gonna go here. Uh, just need to get some stuff out of my way sometimes. You know. Not doing hot on this puzzle. Not doing hot. No, oh, get. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. That was probably like the longest it took me to ever do that puzzle. They were just so unfortunately stacked on top of each other. And, uh, yeah. So I, I, had, I struggled to do a nine-piece puzzle, gang. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Um, yes. So, um... Trying to think of... The, yeah, so... Uh, we're, there are some really fun mini games, quote unquote, that are coming up pretty soon. Uh, one of them that is particularly interesting is going to involve around Hermie the Elf, um, who is uh, famously trying to become a dentist. So you might you might have a sense as to what kind of game that we're going to be dealing with. I, I am recording right now. Okay, so this is another light example, which again, not the hugest fan of. All, Luckily all enough for me, the light, um, the lights don't change in terms of like, like I never see unusual uh, light patterns. Like in the Rudolph book, the patterns always stay the same, um, and I believe they do that for all of the books in the game. All of the, it, it's not RNG in terms of like what mini games that you get or anything like that. So. Um, as long as you familiarize yourself enough with the uh, category, then it's not too too shabby. So I know roughly <laughs> what colors are, but again, the DS screen does not highlight the colors super duper well. So um, luckily enough for us, it's just yellow, purple, and this like uh, cyan light blue kind of deal. See, just get those in there.
Okay, not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I didn't. I didn't make. I think that's the end of the light games in this one, uh, in this category. And I didn't make any uh, drastic mistakes, which is good. I've I've been known to do that on the uh, the light bright mini games. But yeah, we're uh, we're getting kind of close. We're like two thirds through the run, I'd say, um, which means we're two thirds through the story of Rudolph. And according to the uh, you know the Rankin Bass claymation movie at least. Um, also worth mentioning. So this I'm playing on the DS as we mentioned. There is also a Wii version of the game that came out, um, but the game is they're like com two completely different games. I think that one has like 2D platformer type stuff going on if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I've never played it, so um, yeah, maybe that one's better than this one. But I can't imagine it would be because this game is perfection. So. Okay, here is the one I was talking about. So yeah, as we mentioned, Hermie is a dentist. So we naturally gotta clean some teeth. But chat, I want you to tell me what the heck this elf got into that made their teeth like this. This is ridiculous. Blue and green gunk all over the place. This is a warning out there for anyone. Brush your teeth. Because you might end up like this guy. Scrub, 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 scrub. And I actually have to listen very faintly because it's hard to tell sometimes when the uh, the actual things are gone. Uh, but there is a very, f you could probably hear it on stream. Uh, there is a very faint pop whenever something disappears there. It's actually pretty light. So if I, even if I talk over it, I usually don't hear it. But sometimes I have to uh, pay very special attention to make sure that I know for a fact that I actually cleared that out. Because sometimes there is very faint residue. Alright, here we go. I think we got, we got a couple more memory based games. I think this, no, this isn't one of them yet. This is just, yeah, also I didn't mention by the way at the top, for some reason there are just some games that you can skip. It seems to be mainly revolving around ones where you customize stuff, like where you paint things. But sometimes when you do paint things, you can't skip it. So I don't really know what the qualification for being able to skip a game or not is, but here we are. All right, another memory based game. This one is uh, about the weather. Uh, jeez, that's, yeah, that's not, I was going to say, that's not, not it. This one gets a little bit more confusing because sometimes they share, um, you know, like, for example, there's rain, but then there's cloudy rain, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes they share qualif um, qualifiers, so it can be easier to confuse. The, this, yeah, those are the snowflakes. Uh, that's up here somewhere. I know it's up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Uh, that's up here, yeah. That's that. That's that, and here we go. There we go. Got the whole forecast, gang. Got the whole forecast. I don't think that's in the movie. I'm pretty sure it's not in the movie. So, but it, it, mostly it's pretty, pretty close. But yeah, we're getting, we're approaching the end vaguely. Like I said, the game ends with a sing-along, so there's not really much much time uh, before we get the end. Oh, this one's my favorite. So, it's a music-based game, but it doesn't line up. Uh, the notes don't line up with the song that's in the background, which is frustrating. And also, you can just not play it. I'll just put the DS down. You know, we don't have to play it. There's nothing that says I have to play this. Um, sometimes it's better for the uh, the brain because, again, the notes don't line up, as you can see. So it, uh, for somebody who uh, is musically inclined, that probably um, frustrates you because, you know, there's no sense of, like, rhythm to it. But it is also, I guess, more fun to play than not to play. So let's let's get some, let's get our trumpet on. Here we go. Nice, right? 
Very good, if you ask me. All right, yeah, like I said, we're getting close to the end. We still got to dress Santa. We got to get him ready for uh, Christmas, which I think is this one. Yep. We got to get some uh, clothes here. Oh, nice. I think that was this one. Yeah. That was this one. Got to get him his sleigh. That's important. Uh, that was this one? Yeah. Got to get him his boots. Got to get him his hat. Of course. Of course. Classic. I don't think we got the coat yet. Where, where these? That was the bag. Okay. I got lucky there. Uh, gloves. Ah, oh, wrong, wrong one. Got to get him his coat. And it actually ends the same way with the top and the bottom uh, matching, interestingly enough. All right. I think we got like one or two more games before we get to the sing-along. So I hope you uh, get your vocal cords warm because we're, we're going to be singing. We're of course going to be singing. We got to get our sing on. Uh, before that, I know we have a mini game, which is to connect the dots, which always makes me laugh. I think it's coming up here soon. Might be this one even. Yeah, it's this one. You know how you connect the dots just in a vague oval and then makes a full drawing inside? You know how you did that as a child? Uh, yeah, it's so funny. Uh, man, I, I think that is the last game where there might have been one last mini game before the sing-along. Let's see. Oh no, here it is. Here we go, ready? Get your vocal cords ready. Here we go. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names they never let poor rudolph join in any reindeer games then one foggy christmas eve santa came to say Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Yeah, wasn't that lovely? We're, uh, we just gotta do a little bit of mashing and time is coming up. And time. And there it is. Rudolph book of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Not too shabby. Only 23 seconds off world record, by the way, so not too bad. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in running this game, you only need to do two things. One, get the game somehow, and then two, play it. And that's all you have to do. Uh, there are no resources. You don't need resources. There's no Discord server needed. Just get the game, play the game. That's all you have to do. So uh, if you're interested in doing that, um, please stick around. we got uh, Dragons coming up next, which is going to be a really fun run. And if you have the uh, means to do so, of course, uh, go ahead and type exclamation point donate because tomorrow I might have another run of Bug Snap any percent but we have to hit that bonus incentive first so go ahead and uh, if you're able to donate towards that please do but other than that uh, my name is conception sr feel free to follow me on twitch um, twitch.tv slash conception sr pretty much conception sr anywhere so feel free to follow me other than that good to go